My name is Brian Atkinson. I'm the uh, general manager at Jack's on Bernard. And today we are looking at the 76 Wolverine Lager. A luxury beer. The name 76 Wolverine. Kyle, our owner, his older sister bought a house up at Big White. Apparently it used to be the big party house up there. People coming back for the following season expect to still be the party house and it's not open door policy anymore. The address is 76 Wolverine. What a lager is, the Rodney Dangerfield of beer. It gets no respect. It's a beer that's fermented a bit colder than an ale and also cold aged. Light lagers like this are also the most difficult beer to make. Because there's just not any kind of adjuncts to like hide things behind. With like a Russian Imperial Stout or a big ale, there's a lot of big bold flavors to hide mistakes behind. The light lager like this, it's gotta be executed perfect every step of the way. Easy drinking, crisp, refreshing, super crushable. Forgot I even had to open this. Good color. Super light. That one got away from me a bit. That's a good pour. Nice lager smell. Oh. A little bit of grassy notes from the hops in there. Like it hits the notes that I'm after from a lager. Very clean smelling, very light smelling. What percentage are we at here? So 4.8%. Super crushable, super crisp. I'm expecting a little bit of a cereal malt undertone to it and just crisp and crushable. Not overcomplicating it. Here's the beer and just let it do its thing. Oh, that's good. That's really nice. You should have this beer close at hand at all times. It's a beer that appeals to everyone, which is why it's the house party beer. That's really good. If you're watching like a ball game and you just want to quench your thirst, and this is the go-to. Like a little campsite, had a fire going, and just cracked one of these open, that would be my ideal place to enjoy this beer. Not that I enjoy mowing my lawn, but mow the first lawn, take a break, crush a Wolverine, and then get back at it. I'm just gonna stay on baseball. Hot dog. Anything with a little bit of spice content to it. Thai dishes. Jerk chicken, Jamaican food. Spanish dishes, Mexican food. Having tacos on the patio. There's a notorious story of Wade Boggs having 60 some odd beers on a plane ride in between two games. If you're gonna have 60 of any beer, this is the kind of style you want. My dad, he would crush these with me all day. My maternal grandmother really enjoyed drinking lagers. She passed away eight, nine years ago. It would just be awesome to catch up and just have a beer with her. <laughs> I never lived in a party house, but I was definitely constantly at party houses. You always drink lagers. That was the go-to. Bring like a, a six pack, a 12 pack, you know, sometimes even a 15 pack. That's a Friday or Saturday night. I lived in a party house. It's actually when I started home brewing. We built a bar in the house. And so we had really cheap beer on tap all the time. Our doors were never locked. I don't think I had a key. People knew someone was awake, someone was drinking, and uh, they'd come in and pour themselves a pint. Good times. Thank <laughs> you.